Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Python's Realm. We're back for the 19th episode and a whopping massive thank you for all of the beautiful support you guys showed in the last episode and indeed for the series so far. I really do appreciate it. If we can keep it up with the like ratings and all of the beautiful support, that would be more than enough to tell me that you guys are still enjoying the series and want to continue seeing more. Now, today's episode. Oh boy, I got some big old plans. The first one is to go ahead and do a little bit of soul of night farming because a lot of you guys are saying that the onyx blaster is still a very, very good weapon to have. And as you can see, there it is. It is a very, very simple crafting recipe. The shotgun to dark shards, which of course is gotten from the underground corruption dudes, I think, and all the dark mummies that spawn in the corrupted desert. Something like that. But yeah, a few more souls and then we can buy the shotgun just straight out. So that's totally fine. And then we'll be pretty much good to go. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. And with the Onyx Blaster, I'm really rather hoping that I may be able to take down the twins. But here's the thing. Before we take down the twins, I have the comment of the day for you guys here. Which comes from Dreave Tree, who says, Hey Python, Queen Slime is meant to be fought before the mechanical bosses, and all you need is the gelatin crystal. It always looks like a diamond, and it is very shiny in the underground hallow. Okay, alright, I'll bear that in mind. Next time we head down to the hallow down here, we will definitely be going ahead and keeping an eye out for that bad boy. I guess the question is just how rare they are. Crystal shard, crystal shard, crystal shard, crystal shard. I wonder if it comes up as a different color on the map. Hmm, I guess we'll have to figure that out, huh? All right, cool. Well, maybe that's something else we could be doing in today's episode. Now, before we do anything, I think I want to go ahead and make myself a battle potion or two. So I can, you know, have a little bit better of, you know, spawn rates, I guess. So... The question is, do we even have ourselves a corrupted desert? I mean, I guess we could just pop over to the right-hand side ocean here. That may do the job, actually. All right, we are conching it up, ladies and gentlemen. All right, to the right-hand side. Oh, that looks very bad, doesn't it? All right, well, let's use this thing. And we are looking for the dark mummies. I'm kind of hoping that they will still spawn. Maybe in the corrupted beach. That would be kind of cool. Hey, buddy, how you doing? How about you go ahead and give me a blindfold? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. I, uh, I couldn't do that again. Could not do that again, ladies and gentlemen. Could not do that again. I'm telling you, man. That is that's just craziness right there. I was literally asking for a blindfold, and it gave me it. <laughs> ah, my powers know no bounds, guys. Ah, fantastic. Ah, the dark mummy. There they are. One in ten chance of dropping a dark shard, as far as I can remember. So, yes, confirmed. You can go to a beach biome, and it still counts as a desert, I guess. Oh, God. It's getting a little bit crazy around here. Oh, there's another one. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I keep forgetting this entire thing is corruption. So, even if I am, like, all the way to the right side, they're still going to spawn and probably try and kick my butt. You know what I'm saying? So, we still got to be careful, my dudes. Still got to be careful. Hey, you know what else would be pretty cool? Is if we picked up the vitamins. That'd be kind of cool. They're a rare drop from these guys, actually, right? The corruptors. Yeah. Come on, baby. Let's keep the rare drops going, huh? Hey, there's one. One in ten chance. And that was, I think, the third mummy I took down. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, my God. A blindfold and a mummy mask. In one foul swoop. Very nice. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey man, we are really not doing too bad. We've got freaking two blindfolds already. I'm like literally five minutes into the recording according to OBS. And we've already gotten ourselves a good amount of rare drops. Aw yeah! Oh god, it's a mini eater of worlds! Ah! Oh god! We got a thousand health, man! You gotta be careful of those freaking dudes. Oh god, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. I don't wanna lose my... I don't wanna lose my buffs, man! I don't wanna do that! Whoa! Demon torches! Oh, wait, corrupt torches. Oh, yeah, demon torches, I think, are found in the underworld, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Very spooky looking beach, isn't it? Hey, a megaphone! Ancient shadow scale mail as well, and what appears to be our fourth. Our fourth blindfold! Uh, all right, well, looks like we're going to be doing quite a lot of hot selling action. Uh, what we are needing right now is another Dark Shard, and then I would have no issues 
with just heading underground and getting right on with getting ourselves some souls. And then we'll be good, baby. All right. Well, the good news is we're getting ourselves a pretty significant amount of money out of this. Hey, look at that. We're back over a platinum coin now. It'd be beautiful. Hey, and a fast clock. My goodness, today really is the episode of rare mob drops, huh? Come on, there's three dark mummies there. If we don't get one from these guys, then there's got to be something wrong. Ah, uh, okay, well, yep, there's something wrong. Except really not, because, you know, we've had rather a lot of rare mob drops so far. I mean, to be honest, I'm kind of tempted to tempt fate and see if I can get myself the vitamins as well from the corruptors. Because, I mean, if we do the grind now... Then we don't have to do it later, you know? Ah, ah, smart forward thinking coming from the Pythonator. Maybe me getting all of these blindfolds is like a bit of an omen as to what is to come, you know? Shield your eyes because the horrors that are about to befall you are going to be unbelievably bad. Hmm? Is it just me? Is it just me? Am I just making things up for the sake of commentary? Probably. <laughs> Pirate map. Kind of surprised we didn't get one of those a little bit earlier, in fact. The fact that we've only just got one now after getting... Uh, oh, okay, so now six blindfolds. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, isn't it? Ah! Butt white. Ah, oh, darn it. Well, we kind of got a little bit too big for our boots there, guys. Ah, well, the good news is we can get back here instantaneously because of the beauty that is the magic conch. <laughs> you think that's the end of me, sucker? Ha! Oh, you were mistaken, sir. Oh, there we are. The dark shards are now done. All right. The question is, do we really want to keep going until we get the vitamins? Because that would mean relying on RNG. And to be honest, RNG has actually been kind of nice to us today so far. So I'm not so sure that I want to push it. You know? You know what I'm saying? There is such a thing as too much of a good thing. You know? Maybe the good luck just runs out, flat out. I don't know, man. Ah, oh, darn it. You know what? It would have been absolutely perfect timing if we got it right there. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, we could just farm the Corruptors underground, you doofus python. Ah, oh, why didn't I just think of that? Like, why am I so stupid, aren't you? In all seriousness. Ah, oh, goodness me. All right, well, let's go ahead and start uh, stacking up some of our valuables here. The Dark Shard's definitely valuable. Six blindfolds. Very, very valuable. I mean, if not for the accessories, then certainly for selling. So, can't complain about that one. To the... Okay. I was going to say to the underground depths we go, and then I land on a surface and die. Oh, boy. I really am stupid. God. Oh, I need to get myself some wings at some point, huh? Wait, isn't there wings I can buy? I can buy leaf wings from the uh, from the witch doctor, right? Ooh, should we do that right now? I feel like that might be a good idea. All right, popping over here. All right, leaf wings, yeah? Leaf wings? What? Uh, what? Ah, come to the wiki. They are sold by the witch doctor. At night. Okay, coolio. 75 gold coins is apparently the amount we're going to be needing. <laughs> hey, guys, check it out. We've actually got the full set of the uh, mummy vanity set. Ooh. I like how the tissue flows around in the wind. That's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> All right, well, we're going back to uh, this because I rather like this set. I've got to be honest. The set that I've got on right now, that is. Uh, all right, up here, I'm going to put a chandelier. Because we've got a, a, a dude up here. And having gold stuff seems to make sense in my mind anyway. I tell you what, if we're going down to the underground corruption, we are buffing the heck up. All right, endurance. We've got archery, regen, battle potion, obviously for increased spawn rates. Uh, yeah, basically, we shouldn't die. Shouldn't. Shouldn't die. <laughs> shouldn't. That's the operative word. Shouldn't. Oh, God, there's a corrupt mimic down there. There's no way in hell I could take that guy down. Oh, man. No, I'm doing it the old-fashioned way, guys. Hmm. Oh, God. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and avoid him. Ordinarily, I would have no issues with just going ahead and just trying it. But that guy will probably, like, two-shot me. And I'm not even kidding when I say that. So, yeah. Let's find a different area to go ahead and kill ourselves in. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Don't get hit by them. Ugh. Okay, we seem to be sort of neighboring, sort of, the underground corruption, which is on our left-hand side. Uh, I'm in a completely different cave at this point. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh, God, I'm out of here. Goodbye. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. 
<laughs> I hate that biome, man. It is an evil biome. It is a seriously evil biome. Right, here we are. Yeah. Underground corruption slash uh, mushroom biome, apparently. All right, so, yeah. For reference, the surface corruption is there, and it's sort of doing a V shape, I guess, down this way. So, yeah. We're pretty quickly coming across the corruption, and I imagine if we went to our left-hand side, we would come across even more. Oh, God. I can't think of anything worse. Underground jungle, which is hostile enough as it is already in hard mode, combined with the corruption. That is a big, fat oof. Oh, chlorophyte. First ever chlorophyte of the series, guys. Of course, we can't mine it just yet. Oh, God. This is going to be absolute hell. Oh, boy. No. No. No bat. No. Oh, God. My inventory is like a big rip right now. Oh, boy. Oh, God. This is going to be horrific, ladies and gentlemen. I am so not looking forward to this. Oh, no. The boss hornets. Oh, these guys are the most annoying pains in the butts. I hate them. I hate them all. I hate every single freaking mob in the underground jungle, especially in hard mode. Ugh. What? Ah, dang blast it. Well, I'm glad I didn't use my buffs. Uh, well, there we are, my friends. Up oh, six gold coins just left on the floor, baby. Uh, is there, like, any underground corruption that isn't junglified? Let's just have a look here real quick. I think it actually is all junglified. Ugh. Well, that's not very good, is it? Uh, maybe if I pop down here. Yeah, might do the job. Maybe if I, like, go here and then go to the left, maybe I'll have a slightly better chance, you know? And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the underground corruption. Actual underground corruption. A lot of enemies nearby, and there's about to be a whole bunch freaking more. Boom! Buffs are activated, and we are ready to do this thing. There we are. Souls of Night. If we can get ourselves a whole freaking ton of these bad boys, then we may just be able to take down the... What is it? The corrupt mimic? But on our own terms? You know? That'd be kind of nice. Not having to do it underground where there's, like, no space. So, yeah. Hey, it's Tim! Cool! We haven't come across this guy yet. There we are. Little bit of a wizard hat. You combine that with any of the gem robes, and you've got yourself a pre-hard mode full set of uh, mage armor. And it's actually pretty nice. Can't complain about it. Machine bow at the ready. I see you there, clingers. Yeah! Ain't no clinger, ringer, ringer, dingers coming for me, buddy. Oh, hey there, little cursed hammer dude. Ah, uh, one of these days I might actually get what I'm looking for from those guys. There's a truffle worm apparently around here. Huh, interesting. Anyways, moving on. Ooh, another random soul from someone who died apparently. Huh, okay, cool. <laughs> Definitely can't complain about it. Why don't you go ahead and die there, buddy? Oh, there's a Medusa around here. Where is she? Where is she? I shall find you. Oh, hello. Ah, Medusa, where are you? I'm trying to... Oh, there she is. <gasps> Dude, can you imagine getting Medusa's head? I mean, that is a magic mage weapon, isn't it? It's pretty damn rare as well. Go on, try it. Try it, Medusa, you son of a gun. Yeah. Now we're doing damage. Now we're doing damage. Oh, get wrecked. You absolutely got ruined there, buddy. Ah, uh, there's a Mimic getting ruined as well, apparently. My goodness, there's a lot of guys around here. Ah, oh, hey there! Hey! Nice of you to join the party there, Mini Eater of Worlds. Good to see ya! Ah, no! Ah, don't get killed by a Mimic, you blithering idiot! There you are. Yeah, magic dagger and 47 gold coins. Wow, definitely need to stack those bad boys away. Whoa! Look at this, man! Yeah! Cool. I used to remember this thing being an absolute freaking original great of the game. The magic dagger. You got that with a good mage set? Woo! It was nasty, dude. It was nasty. Oh! <laughs> Rip! Rip! Ah, oh, dang it. I got a little bit too big for my boots again. I just went straight into that guy's mouth, apparently. Good lord. All right, well, the good news is we've still got ourselves a good amount of gold. Yes, I lost six, but you know what? I quick stacked away rather a lot more. Yeah, very, very nice. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and sort out our inventory. We've got 41 souls of night, which should be enough to maybe, I don't know, make ourselves the onyx blaster and also do one corrupt mimic. Man, so much stuff we can do. Fantastic. <laughs> got blindfolds? My goodness me. <laughs> That's a lot of blindfolds, dude. Whoa. That's crazy, dude. 
That's like actually crazy. What the hell, man? <laughs> Have I just been incredibly lucky or is the spawn rate for these bad boys like incredibly high or something? Oh god, I just don't know. All right, that could go in the valuables chest and then we are also going to be needing something else. Oh yeah, the shotgun. We need to go find the arms dealer and buy the regular shotgun. Hey, Buttski! There we are. The shoddy. So we should now be able to do this. Like, pretty easy like, in fact. There it is. The Onyx Blaster. Forceful. Now, of course, Unreal would be the most unreal thing to get. That would be pretty freaking fantastic. Check it out, guys. We actually have enough to do two of these things. Nice. All right. So get two chests. And we're going to make sure that we do this, you know, on our own terms. So let's go ahead over to the right-hand side over here. And to finish off the episode, we are doing two of these bad boys. Whoop! There it is. Hey, how's it going? 7,000 health, huh? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot when he closes up. Yeah, he does that. I like how there's a noise for that now. Like, that wasn't there before, was it? That's kind of crazy. All right, boom. Keep on going, baby. Keep on going. Yeah, my range is set. Ah! My ranger set brings all the boys to the yard, except when it hits me back. You son of a gun. All right. Oh, 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 oh. He's going a little bit crazy. He's going a little bit crazy. Come on. Keep on going. Keep on going. Come on. Are you going to close up shop now? No. Oh, very random. Ah. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Keep it going, baby. Keep it going. Oh. Whoa. You're going to be crazy, aren't you there, sir? Come on. How much money do these... Oh, wait, wait. How much money do these guys drop, as a matter of fact? I can't remember. They obviously drop, like, ah, careful. They obviously drop really, really cool things, which is why you go ahead and take these guys down in the first place. But still, I'd like to know. I'd like to know. I know they drop potions as well. So, yeah, come on. Come on. We'll do the first one here on, ow! We'll do the first one here on camera. And then the second one we will do off camera. There we are. Oh, ah, ah, he's right here. He's right here. And there we are. What did we get? The dart rifle. Whoa. 87 range damage. What the hell? Whoa. Okay. I gotta I gotta have a look at that thing, huh? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, and oh god! Whoa! Hey, careful there, but ah uh, <laughs> there we are. Yeah, what do we get? The chain guillotines. Hey, at least we got two different weapons. Nice. So this thing is fully automatic as well. It's zealous. Uh, I wonder if we get godly on it. See what kind of damage it can do with maybe the palladium set. Ooh. So much stuff to reforge. I mean, the dart rifle is probably all right as it is, actually. I need to figure out who sells the ammo. I mean, the logical assumption, of course, would be the arms dealer. So let's go over to him and see what he's going down. Oh, okay. Not the arms dealer. Who sells the darts, then? Maybe this guy? Do you sell the darts? Blowgun. What? Allows the collection of seeds for ammo. No, we don't need that. We need to figure out what the devil this thing should... Oh, wait. I mean, we don't have any ammo on us. Lol. <laughs> we should probably get some musket balls out. Ah! Here we are. The dart. Bounces between enemies. Inflicts poison on enemies. Ooh. I mean, that clearly does more ranged damage, so that's kind of cool. Huh. All right. Well, let's go for the poison dart simply because we kind of need the crystal shards for a little bit later down the line. We'll go ahead and buy 900 of them. Well, not buy 900 of them. Craft 900 of them. And yeah. Okay, so it's pretty slow. Uh, but I don't know, man. The damage of it, the pure damage of it might be enough to sort of offset that? Question mark? I don't really know, man. How I wish I had a discount card. Ah, oh, wouldn't that be lovely, eh? All right, what have we got? Nope. Uh, okay, why not? Uh, what have we got here? Okay, that's not too bad, actually. Uh, yeah. Can't complain about it. Godly is already pretty damn good, dudes. I don't think I want to go and reforge it. If I was to reforge something else, it would be this. Come on. Come on, something decent. Demonic. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take it. 72 damage and more crit chance. Definitely can't complain about it. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Pop. Pop. I'm trying to pop you, buddy. Pop. Pop. Ooh, it's a little bit slow. Maybe with the different ammo types, it might just be a way, way better weapon than I'm probably making it look right now. Let me 
know in the comments area. A lot of you guys were suggesting that I try and get the dart rifle for whatever reason or another. Let me know. Let me know what is the best ammo type for this gun. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, we have everything that we were looking for in today's episode. Unfortunately, we didn't get the gelatin crystal, but we'll probably do that in the next episode, guys. Today has still been a very, very good episode upgrades-wise, so I'm pretty happy with it, and I do hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. Do be sure to hit the like rating if you have enjoyed today's episode. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell so you don't miss out on my future content. But for now, my friends, thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next episode.